Hi guys, it's Ree and Morgan. And today we're doing a video of decluttering some products. And I have mine in a cotton candy. Cotton candy thing. With a lid, because I'm not stupid. <laughs> that would be funny if it fell out. No, but. no, that would be. <laughs> she has way too much to go in one of those though, so next time she'll probably have less items. I have a lot of products and I need to get rid of some so I have room. And I definitely know that we're going to be doing a big declutter probably at the end of this year, like somewhere at the end of December, because we definitely need to go through our stuff, but um, at least I do. No, yeah, I do too. But um, this is a good start, so we're just going to show you what we either finished in November or um, decided we don't want anymore. For me, in the last video, I mentioned this. It was a bombshell blowout spray. We didn't really think it smelled good anymore, so that was added to the declutter list. And I told you guys about the cake lotion that I finished, and I wasn't... Okay, sometimes I will actually cut them open, but I didn't do it. <laughs> Just so you know. And you call me cheap. Huh? No, I'm the cheap mm -hmm. one here. I am getting rid of this because it expired in 2017. <laughs> It's an anti-trouble spot soothing. I wish I used it more. If you can even see that. Okay. Well, it's a little, little What's redhead. funny is I actually just put that on my face, so hopefully oh, no. it doesn't fall off. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, that's going away. <laughs> and I just finished the Tresemme dry shampoo. I have to say I love the smell, but it didn't do anything for my hair. The only one that works is Batiste. Because it that has so that good. white powder, and it actually works really good for my oily hair. You can get it at Walmart. So, Walmart. I bought it at Ross. Ross. I mean, you can get a good deal at Ross if you look. But, um, you just have to look for clearance stuff. Next is this. It's concealer collection. I think we got this palette in BoxyCharm. And it's just a bunch wow. of concealers. And I don't really like, I don't know. This is so, I haven't reached for it in a year, so I'm just never going to. And I got rid of mine, like, right away. I didn't touch it. Yeah, it's just, like... It's also, it was kind of cheap. Like, BoxyCharm has gone really far compared to what they used to give you. They, it used because to be so much better. They definitely give you more name brands. And um, these were just too oily. Like, I feel like they're almost, I don't know. This like, looks like something I would get, or I would see it. Uh, Ross and be like nothing or even like a beginner's <laughs> uh, like when you're just starting off makeup maybe but I don't know. who needs that much consu unless you actually work in like makeup Am industry maybe does that look like me which face <laughs> uh, no it's like browner okay like well, a, I don't want to be the lighter color so I'm definitely throwing I'm that definitely away. the lightest if you don't yeah she would be that light, pure white one that I just put <laughs> That looks like a highlighter. You can go again because you have way more than me. Okay, well, I'm really sad about this one. Excuse me, let me lighten this that is, up. This is crazy. I'm so sad. It's not old enough to be this disgusting. You'll see how bad it is. It is. She literally has only had it for this a year color. or two. It turned that color. It's disgusting. Dun, dun, dun. It was supposed like, to be white. It's this usually, looks like caramel. It's... <laughs> Who's going to, yeah. And it she doesn't shows, smell bad, but I'm not putting that on me. Uh-uh. She showed me that, and I go, do not. I was like, that. is it, was it this color? And it she's was, like, no. Ugh. I'm sad, but at least it's not the yellow-orange one that smells We love amazing. the bum bum cream, but we this don't. This just smells like a regular old coconut lotion, and for how expensive it is. I felt like it smelled like nasty popcorn, and no. Buttery caramel pop, or coconut popcorn. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Speaking of good ones, this is the Brazilian bum bum cream. And I told you, I cut them open if they're that good, and this one really was. And you should do that if you actually like the product, because it still smells really good, too. Yeah, that stuff's mm -hmm. so good, and it lasts longer than perfume. So, honestly, I would just buy one, put it on your arms, smell nice the whole day. Yeah. I'm getting rid of this. I can't remember where I got this. Oh, was that it was from box? a Target box. Oh, yeah. man, I gave it a few chances, and it's just disgusting. It was also, like, kind of harsh on your underarm. So you like have to, they're... like, melt it with yeah. your natural body heat. And who that wants to take gross. that time? 
and the that. smell just made me really sick. It's a uh, mineral enriched natural deodorant, charcoal and magnesium. It's not one of their best. Uh, I I would rather not wear deodorant at all. That what does that tell you? What does that tell <laughs> what does you? What does that tell you? <laughs> what does that tell you? I'm sitting right next to her. Uh, I'm wearing I'm wearing uh, Outlast. Just kidding. <laughs> and then I have this one. Um, I can't remember why I wanted to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure it's just because of how long I've had it. It's a skin. Um, yeah, you can definitely see it better when it's darker. Yeah. Um, skin cuti skin cuticles. I'm saying that wrong. Reservoir. Blah blah blah. Okay. Well, there you go. You can read it yourself. I'm not gonna attempt that. And you shouldn't buy things that you can't pronounce. No, <laughs> it was definitely a sample. <laughs> that I wouldn't be buying anything. Just you know. Um, I got this. It's from Dr. Brandt. It is, can you turn it down a little bit? Oh, yes, ma'am. And it's like one of those sleep masks. That's um, the most I can do. Hydrobionic, I think. And um, I've actually, I really liked it. As you can tell, I used it all. But She um, really does use it. This she's, is $52, okay? That. I got this in BoxyCharm, and I wrote down the price because I'm that kind of person. 22 And it was $52. Holy snaps. So I was going to use okay, it all. Okay, yeah. And it wasn't my new decade um, for this year that I basically didn't do anything, but I did finish this. I do so. hate when you get One the item. big number of product and it's something that you wouldn't want, though. Yeah. I mean, I would reuse that, that but I would never sure, buy it. But... It's way too expensive. Okay, and then I have a really unattractive color in ColourPop. I'll do a swatch. It might be nice for someone else, but... Oh, that's why I'm getting rid of it. Not necessarily the color, but the fact that it's super dried out. Yeah, um, I have so many lip products. Like unfortunately, over ColourPop's so. minis do dry out pretty fast. So. Okay, and I have a uh, Seraphine Botanicals Guava Butter. I don't like cheek and lip. I just don't. I don't really care for it. I think we mentioned that. And it's it's an okay stuff. color. Um, let me turn that down a little bit. So it would be a nice color, but. Um, it's wasted on her. It's wasted on me. I, I never want to receive I actually those. don't even That's... like that brand that much. I find then that they're in a lot of subscriptions, and I'm just not interested in trying that At least one. it smells good, but sometimes sm smell bothers you more than no smell at all. Yeah. And I just finished this yesterday, actually. It is a brush cleanser from, what are they? Aesthetica. And I actually just bought it for like $4 or $3 on pop-up. So I have a new one upstairs, which came perfect timing because I used this all. Like, it's completely gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I lied. I There's squirted. a little bit. Don't think I'm not going to use this, okay? I'm going to put this safely over she's here put, and I'm going to use, gonna it use it. She's going to use it. Because I just um, messed up some, you know, brushes today. So that's fudge. I can't oh I just man! That. That's <laughs> I don't know if we caught that, but um, this is an example of why I only test products for my hair after I'm already gonna wash it, like right before I'm gonna wash it, because this was horrible. As soon as I put it on, I felt like I put like dry toothpaste in my hair. It was really gross. Zero gravity volume powder. I don't even think she used hers. What did we get? I it? didn't get. You that. didn't get it. No, you probably got it in like um, a birch box or Ipsy. So it comes out like a powder. Uh, can you see that? I don't think so. It's kind of like thick pieces. Yeah, and it feels like baking soda. Like how would yeah. that feel in your hair? It, it's not light and fluffy. It, You're better off cakey. using flour for your hair to dry it. And then I have a Hermes, or Hermes, I don't know, uh, Paris, and it's just, it smelled really bad. <laughs> So I might try to give it to her friend, but my friend likes stinky stuff. Well, not this is it smells different to everyone, and it smells different what on your it, body. Again? Everyone wears it, the chemistry or something. Oh uh, yeah, it scent. changes, and maybe it will be a better room spray. It's like I want to know why I hated it, so I'm gonna like. Uh, and spray um, it. I finished. Oh, oh, my... it's like old lady. Okay, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Sorry, mom. Oh. <laughs> And I just used. <laughs> she's gonna kill me, by the way. Just don't she's show probably the video. only one that watches our videos, so she's gonna kill me. But anyway, I finished <laughs> Clinique, and I'll probably reuse this as um, for other, you know, 
cleansers and stuff. Toner, whatever. What's the price range on that baby? I think these are like five or six bucks. Unless you buy it at Sephora, then it's like $20,000, but yeah. This I'm getting rid of. I think you bought it for me, so I feel bad, but it totally fell. Hard candy. Uh, and it's just broke. I don't think I bought I don't, it. I don't do what Morgan does, where she uh, will press it and fix it. I uh, will if it press breaks, it. I'm like, uh, unless it's a really good. I just good, broke a highlighter. Unless it's a good from, brand, then I'll. Oh, no, it's hard candy. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I broke a highlighter from IBY, which I got from my Ipsy, and I was like, I do uh -uh. like I do like the marble effect though, because you can you can kind of control how much. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> how much purple you get? How much pink? Anyway, if you do want to fix some of them, you can fix it with putting a little alcohol. alcohol. Not too much. And then um, kind of press it down. Sometimes uh, you can't press it down because it sticks to the paper. I just did that. So um, let it dry and then try. But I just fixed my IBY highlighter because I liked it that much. Next is another dried out lip gloss. Or is this a lip paint? No, that would be a liquid lipstick. It's coming out like chunky. So, no. It's Lime Crime in the color Pink Velvet. So, unfortunately, I didn't wear it. But I'm kind of not really wearing hot pinks anymore. The older I get, the less I wear it. She used to wear it a lot in her early Bright reds, 20s. pinks. Now I'm like, ah, I'll wear nudes. And I just finished. Well, I didn't finish, actually. Um, this is Dose of Colors. And it's in Merlot. It's really pretty, but it just does not work with me. It is it cakey? Uh, no, it's the fact that the wand, if you see the doe foot, it's like this big. Okay, for a red, you can't do that. Oh, it, it goes gets outside everywhere, everywhere. Oh no, you need it to be a and thinner one so you could build it up. It's a beautiful up. color. It has pink undertones, and I would totally keep it if it wasn't for the wand. I mean, if I could find another wand, I would totally use it with it's it. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll steal Let's it see. and see if I like it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just that um, if I wasn't wearing something right now, I would totally. And you try can it totally on. see the pink undertones if you look, but it's just that's the reason why I can't. It got everywhere, and it was like I was a vampire, and without the fun, so no. <laughs> no they can't. Yeah, for me, it's an Ulta eyeliner. Obviously, it came in a set. I think when we bought one of those baggies that come with different products. It's pretty, but when I tried to put it on my eye, you had to push really hard. And that's not, I'm not doing that. I don't know why they make them that, like, dry. Dry, because who's going to want to put it on their eyes? That's why I like the ones or that Or even twist. their lip liners. They're more moisturizing. No. And she likes liquid ones for that, for I, that same reason. I, yeah, it pulls at your eyes and that's Tugs cool. it. And the skin's very sensitive. Okay, and I finished this. This is um, a Mark Anthony... Um, frizz bye bye. Um, and it's a leave in conditioner, and I actually did really like that. <laughs> Something was inside. <laughs> yeah, I, I store Show it, it again on top, to see but if it um, shows more. Yeah, yeah. And again, I opened it because this is one that I would actually use. I only did that for ones that I actually like, though. Just so you know, so if they're open, that means I loved it, or it was that expensive. So. <laughs> But anyway, I really like this. I think I must have got this in either a Walmart box or Target box because I don't buy, like, sample size of these kind of products, but it's really nice. And it was more affordable than some of the, you know, the It's a 10 or something like that. Even though It's a 10 is really good. This I'm getting rid of. It's a palette I got as a gift a while back. I would say, like, was that 10 years ago? Wasn't it one of your first palettes that you got? Or yeah, no. I think like, so. It, it's nice, but I haven't reached for it. And when I swatched it, it it's a bit cakey. You can kind of tell, right? You could just can tell the difference. That? It's in, very chalk. Yeah, you could definitely tell. I mean, I don't mind chalky sometimes, but yeah. And the colors I was like more attracted to are ones that I have in other palettes. So are those more cool tone? Hmm. I'm not very good at knowing what cool and hot. I consider these cool tones for sure. I like more of the orange colors. Purple burnt considered colors. Warm or that's cold too, I would say. Well, it could be both. Warm, I see like oranges, I think it'll be reds, both. and yeah. I don't know what are coppers. Would that be warm? I feel like it's warm. I don't know. Uh, Bella Pierre. I usually don't like their products. I don't know. What do you guys think of it? Do you like the brand? 
I got that and I gave it away right away. I didn't I, touch it. I probably didn't swatch it. Didn't do anything. I don't know how to use this like really, it. and it doesn't appeal to me. Uh, I don't wear cover up. I don't. That's especially an, with wearing masks at work. I just what's the point? I'm already a, breaking out. That's like, another thing that uh, <laughs> unfortunately BoxyCharm used to do is give you that kind of stuff. There's a profile for a reason, and they still don't go by it. But luckily, they don't bring this bell up here as much because it's just you can find that at Ross. Sometimes you get better stuff in Ipsy. Um, Those brands are pretty good. Our $12 bag is sometimes better than BoxyCharm's $25 bag. So This I'm sad I didn't use. I, I just hated the smell so much. It's the um, Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. I think she didn't use hers That's either. her second one. I think that might be the one I gave her. Yeah, not, one of them but... leaked out. And then yeah. this is the other one. And it's obviously... Stop your arm. <laughs> My oh. arm. It's, oh God, it's still, here's a, ref no, I, no, do it. It's disgusting, and we got and that is, in a box. This charm. is how it smelled the day we got it. So, yeah, either it was a thing. bad batch, or it's just disgusting. This it smells before, like maple or This is syrupy. definitely before they actually had profiles, so I'm not even going to blame them for it, but, and it was a nice No, it brand. definitely appeals to me if it didn't smell like but that. I'm oily, and I don't need a bronze. I well, because I don't know bronze. if that's how it's it supposed to smell. It doesn't look good smell. on me. I am pasty, and that's the way I'm supposed to be. I'm not. Gonna get bronze. Cause I tried Juice Beauty. I got it's a really like a pricey package deal, thinking, oh, well, this is so popular, and it smelled terrible. So I don't know if that was a spoiled batch or if that's just how the product is. Yeah. This is Too Faced. It's a bronzer, the Chocolate just Soleil. Like you. No. And you could tell that I've been scraping into it because it just doesn't give off any. Oh, that sucks because I think uh, people actually say that's really good. Uh, it's it also sucks. too. I think it's too brown for me. Like it, it gives me a muddy. Oh, is it look. more of a warm tone then, or a gray tone, like dark? Maybe I don't know. deep matte. I don't know. I like the ones with slight orange. I think because okay. it warms up my face. These just make me. You look probably would like, like the I wet and wild one dirt. better. Yeah. Um, and I just finished this. Well, I finished this a while ago. It's the Clinique Pep Start Moisturizer. And I definitely got this in like a Sephora Play, which I love Sephora Play because you got to try things that you can't afford. But um, <laughs> this lasted a while and I really liked it. There's nothing bad to say about it. I wouldn't buy it, but I'd be happy to get another sample of it. This is Aveen Uthermal. And we've gotten so many of these, so it's not really exciting anymore. Oh, can you even see it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, see, I have you so see that many. Brand all the time. So it's, it's like, whatever. I'm not going to keep the ones I've had longer. Might as well just use the fresh one. You can go again. Okay. And bomb, be a bombshell. I'm not a fan of this brand either. Uh, this is one of those eye crowns that you can use as a base. I put some on my eye, eyes the other day, and she didn't really notice it. So I don't really want to build on something that's not um, important. Like, it didn't even enhance the look or anything. And I'm getting rid of this. This is a ColourPop. I have a few others that I'll probably dig out just to throw them away. But this one is... She has a lot of ColourPop singles. Or something like that. Sequence. Can't read. Sequin. Sequin. But yeah, and basically. this is what it looks like. Well, it's a beautiful color, as you can tell. It is so dry. It's no longer what it was. It's not a super shock anymore. It's just a shock that it's this bad. <laughs> um, and <laughs> that was good. I wouldn't use this anymore, which it's sad because it is really beautiful. It's beautiful, but like, what does it look like when you put it on your eye? It's patchy and it's dry. There you so, go. So um, I have a lot more. I hate more when the that swatch is better on your hand than your face. These lasted, and some of them still are okay, and I got them at the same time, but. I wouldn't recommend buying a whole bunch of these at the same time if oh, you're yeah, not going to no. use them. She's right. So, like, maybe get, like, two or three to pop on your eye. But, no, nah, I would pass. And they're a great deal, but I would still pass because But it's a great company. Wasted. Oh, sure. ColourPop has Highly recommend. Those palettes, palettes are beautiful. I think Do, we're do gonna... those dry out as much as the singles? I hope not. Uh, the eyeshadow palettes are just dry, so they don't do any. Oh. <laughs> but um, I definitely think that when we have money, we're going to do a spree. Oh, my God. There's a purple one I want. There's, There's a, a couple orange, hauls like, that I want to do colors. there. Oh. They have a lot of... I would stay, probably stay away from the lipsticks again because I just want the eye stuff. Yeah, but... the only lipstick I'm willing to spend 20 bucks for is Stila. 
Those are, are freaking amazing. I wish they would send those our way. EBH has some good ones too, but um, definitely I would shop here. It just I would go for the palettes instead oh, because yeah. they last longer. They weren't spending like a hundred bucks at a time. Like I would go on a. Spray. But I definitely think like in a couple months we should. If I didn't buy have some. like fifty palettes and a hundred thousand like uh, mascaras, that's why I need that to clean out. That will be our reward. See, well, most not mascara, people, uh, lipstick. Most people want things to always go out, but. When we get it, I have things, separation we want issues. New things. I just, not even that. I just have a hard time like putting it. Like I haven't used it in years. Why am I keeping it? It's like a hoarder's mentality. Like you, you Rob, finally have money to buy yourself stuff, and you just don't want to. Raw Beauty Christine just came out with one. I think that looks really pretty. It has greens and yellows and stuff like that. Could I pull so. it off with my green eyes, or would it like? I think it would. It? I think it's beautiful. Cause some greens just mute my eye color. Last product for me is NYX. I am not really a fan of them either. And when you see the color, it looks like it's gonna be really pretty, but it's just, it's just okay. I don't, I don't like NYX at all. Yeah, I feel like I bought a bunch and then I didn't like any of them. We used to get the cream um, lip matte things or whatever, and they just. Nah. I have the crayons. They're they're okay, but I I, I do want to try the primer. Anymore, I heard so. they have a good primer, but. Ooh, those are some pretty products. Okay, so actually this is pretty good because these are all, um, two of these are dried. So this is why they're getting rid of, I'm getting rid of these. And then these are ones I'm decluttering and she'll probably take them. So, <laughs> um, Stila. In the shade. And this is also Stila, but you could tell that I wore this packaging to the ground. Baca. Baca is so pretty. And then this like one, mouth? you could tell, is dried. Cow. Like, it just doesn't look good anymore. It's patchy. That's the only reason why I got rid of this. And I that one, too, oh, is a, oh, such a beautiful okay. color, and I would definitely buy this if I see it at, um, see, it's just like, it's just not oh, there yeah. anymore. That kind of looks like the one I was But I definitely would get rid of it. I mean, I'm getting rid of it. I would definitely buy it if I saw it at um, Marshalls. I've bought two others at Marshalls, and I would love to find a shade like this again. And then I have three declutters because the colors just don't work with my skin tone, or I just don't like them. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of products, too, like so there's just no point. So, um... This is Smashbox. It's a great brand. Let's get right there. You see it? Those are pretty nice. It has a great doe foot. I, I, I had no real issue with this one. It's kind of, it's different. Like if it was the darker red, I would have a problem with how big this is, but it's not. The thing with this is though, um, it's beautiful actually. It's really pretty. It's prettier on my skin than on my lips. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, does it turn um, out more peachy on your lips? It looks is that the one more I have? like muted and almost like my skin color. Oh, yeah. But not really. Yeah, no, but, I like, have that too, and I, I, I keep not throwing it away. But it's a beautiful color, pretty. and the reason why I'm getting rid of it is I drank some water, and it was already gone. And I'm, I'm not going to keep um, a liquid lipstick if it's going to go away after five minutes. So The no. only way it should come off is if you're eating, like, a freaking burger. The next one is a <laughs> Sephora lipstick, which, again, thank you, Sephora Play. And uh, I liked it, but the thing is, is that I don't really like lipsticks. I like have one or two real lipsticks and everything else is just liquid lipsticks. So um, it's nice, but it's not gonna work for me. It's a pretty color. I think you can do a vampy look with it. Make her have my trash. And no, then I don't need any more this stuff. This is Bite Beauty. And I got this, again, sorry, Sephora Play. It was a good thing when it lasted. And how much is Sephora Play? Sep well, Sephora Play it's is over nothing now, anymore because right? it's gone. What happened to it? Um, they basically destroyed it and it went bye-bye. And now they have like they have like a $10 grab bag every once in a while, but like who wants you the same thing? You don't get to it on t Oh, yeah. I like the fact that right. it was random so yeah. I could buy like two if I wanted and not get the same things. And I think that their mistake was... First of all, taking the points away, that was stupid because 
Oh, they You give they us did points, that. we shop on your site. They did that with you take Birch away Box. the points, no one's going to your site and buying the product. Yeah, I quit I quit so, Birchbox pretty soon after they yeah, did that. Yeah, once Birchbox And then Boxy, runs. I wish I redeemed my points before they did the other version of it. Like, I liked it when you just used your points and I got have, it in your box. Now you have to do the whole... On BoxyCharm, I have like $160. I don't even know whatever, how to use it. Know. So, yeah, I don't. I need to figure that out. I need to talk to someone. I got, but, I got um, rid of it. So I lost all my beauty. points. And um, it's just gonna be right here. It's. I just don't like how wet that looks. Oh, like, it probably would smudge, huh? Yeah. You had you had better. I like crayons though. I do like that. I type. don't like crayons at all. They're for drawing, not for your lips. So, but uh, I mean, if she does decide that she wants burgers. it. Like, look how much product you get for like the ten like this to be in a ten dollar bag. Come on. So I think, you know, it's nice to try it, but it just was not for me, and um, I don't think Ray wants it either. No, um, <laughs> it kind of just gets I'm all good. over the place, and I also don't really necessarily care about Bite Beauty. Um, What's I think their they, price I range? Think, it's like 10 to 20. There. Oh, 20 it's to... It's like 20, I think, or 16, something like that. I don't I know. I noticed the more expensive but, lip, um, lip products aren't as good as some of the cheaper so, ones. So, I mean, it's nice, but I'm never going to buy it again, so there's no point in keeping it anyway. If it was a lighter shade, I probably would have kept it, but, again, it gets everywhere, and right now you can't even wear these because... It would smudge. Oh my like, god! If a if a liquid lipstick that's dry like it rubs everywhere. off on your it's mask, like, that would just. Ew. So anyway, this is a pass for me. But I do like the fact that it they don't like you know cheat you. And then it's twist. I hate the ones where you have to sharpen it and you lose your product. I'm empty now. All right, and that's it. That's a wrap. Are you throwing any products away? Uh, all of them are gone. No. Telling them. Oh, are you <laughs> throwing any products away? And if you are, tell us. Yeah. If you have a video you want us to watch, we'll watch tell it. us. Spring cleaning, you guys. Definitely. I'm a YouTube, like, I'm watching YouTube, Fishinado? like, basically 20 hours of the day. I'm not even kidding. When I'm asleep, it's playing. So, um, just tell me. I'm She's really involved high. in it. I really love face. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Facebook. I really love YouTube. Oh, and also, Follow me on Instagram under Morgan CBD One, and um, you know, find me. And also plug your YouTube. Oops. Oh, and my Since YouTube this one's going to mine is first. Morgan Griggs. So M O R <laughs> M O R G A N space G R I G G S. And uh, you can find my videos on there. And if so. you want to follow me on Instagram, it's freaking with no G, re, R-H-I. If you know me, you'll know why that's my name. She's crazy. Well, I say things that are crazy sometimes. All right, have a good day. Try to at least. Yeah, get some sleep. <laughs>